What's up guys, welcome to Quick Tech. My name is Nick, this is a box, let's open it. Okay, so every now and then something arrives on my doorstep that I'm not sure what it is, and uh, generally I'm excited, usually, and you know, if it comes shipped with a scary sticker like this that says it might explode during shipping, you know, even better. So this, I'm assuming, is a product from China. Let's pop it open, see what the studio has received today. This, oh, they shouldn't have. Awesome, I've been needing some of this. Wow, wow, okay. Actually, I do know what this is now. These are the Aero Buds from Light Zim. They emailed me a while back and said, they'd send me something. Here they are. Uh, they kept true to their word. So these are the Aero Buds, uh, truly wireless earphones. I've reviewed some on the channel already. I'll link them down below. But the cool thing about these is that they apparently have uh, up to four to five days of playback time due to the charging case that it comes shipped with. The box itself is quite simple. You have the Aero Buds up front and you also see that it comes with a charging case. It is ergonomic, what have you. High fidelity sound and uh, only five grams. So let's unbox it and see what they sound like. Okay. Bam, let's get that out of there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow, okay, so you're greeted with the charging case and some ear tips and an instruction uh, manual fell out and this is telling you how to pair it uh, in stereo mode using Bluetooth. We'll put this on the side in case we run into any trouble. So now taking a look at the earbuds, let us open up the case here and actually a really cool pill design. You can see you have your micro USB for charging the case, and then you have a button here, which I guess is like a springboard, let's see. Nope, not even close. So, ah, you press it. It's not automatic, you press it, and then you can lift it up. That's not true. You press it, and then you can lift it up, exactly. Uh, looking at the case, you have your earbuds here. They look pretty cool, actually. Uh, nice ergonomic design. They are angled in such a way that we've gotten used to now in the earbud space. Uh, so it should be a decent fit in your ears. Let's see, are they marked? They are marked right and left, so that's always helpful as well. And then in here is a box, and that has your micro USB cable, and a bag full of goodies. So you're gonna have uh, some wing tips, it looks like, as well as some larger earbud tips. Now these are Bluetooth 4.2, and they are treated with sort of a nano paint coat, which uh, will help with making them sweatproof. I think they are IPX4 uh, registered. So that'll be good. These are good for an active lifestyle. Uh, clearly not one that I'm living, but uh, if you're into that, awesome. Now online, they also say that they offer a 3D stereo sound thanks to the graphene acoustic drivers uh, contained inside. So I'm excited to see how they sound. Now from a design standpoint, uh, these things look pretty cool. Uh, you have these hooks that are gonna help uh, keep them in your ear. And aside from that, I mean, some of the wireless earbuds on the market, especially the budget ones, are pretty bulky and the plastic is, they just feel very plasticky. These, uh, because of that uh, paint coating, these actually feel pretty legit. Uh, the hook itself is removable, so that is a nice rubber. So that's also adding to the nice feel that they have. Okay, so let's turn these on and see how they sound. I'm just holding down both earbuds at the same time for a few seconds, seeing if anything happens. Oh, okay, yes. So now they are blinking. Let's see if we can pair them to my phone here. Okay, Aero Buds have shown up on my phone here. Let's connect and see how they sound. Huh. That's actually pretty snug. Yeah, they fit very snug. 
And let's listen to a nice track here. See how that 3D audio sound that they advertise uh, is. Okay, I will say, if you're starting a song that's pretty low and you have the volume on low, I do hear static right away. So that is turning me off initially. However, once the song kicks in and you raise volume to an acceptable level, the static kind of gets hidden. The bass isn't too heavy. These aren't bassy headphones. I do like that they advertised it being kind of an acoustic-y 3D experience. It is definitely geared towards the more high end mids, uh, not in a distorted uh, sense, but uh, it gives you that kind of idea that there's clarity there. Yeah, again, there is still that minor hiss that's going on throughout this whole time. I'm not sure what that's all about. I mean, they're all right. The sound is, is all right. I think it's definitely more clear than the Smart Omis that I reviewed earlier in the channel uh, and the build quality, for sure, is definitely a step above that. The, the Smart Omis were kind of bulky. These are not as large, first of all, fitting in your ear, but also carrying them around. Uh, they do stay in my ear. Let's give it a shake test and see how they fare. They are supposed to be good for sports and an active lifestyle. Oh, man. Head rush. The music sounds better now. Yeah, I mean, the sound is pretty clear. Uh, it's the boosted trebles and mids that give it that appeal. Uh, the bass isn't, again, thumping in any sort of manner, but it's there. Uh, these aren't a bass-heavy earphone, which, you know, as someone who listens to rock music or alt-rock or even emo, uh, a more treble-forward earbud is, is fine with me, so no complaints there. Once again, I'm going to say they're advertising four to five days of playback due to this case. So if you keep the case charged, as the earbuds deplete in battery life, you plop them back in, let them charge a bit, and uh, you're good to go again. So you'll see in these shots, I did test them while running uh, out and about, and they did stay in my ear quite well. I didn't notice the connection dropping at all while I was running, while I had the phone in my back pocket, my front pocket, my what have you. In fact, LightZim actually mentions that they are so proud of their non-drop technology uh, up to 130 feet. So uh, that's pretty cool. So that about wraps this one up. If you're looking for an AirPods alternative or truly wireless earbuds and you have about $60 to burn, these may be a good choice for you. They have a really cool pill case design. Again, you're gonna get four to five days of playback time with this included charger. In terms of sound quality, again, it's more treble forward. So if you're into hard rock, light rock, alt rock, alt left, alt right, uh, these earbuds might be good for you. The only negative thing I have to say, and it is noticeable, especially at low volumes or while skipping tracks and in between songs, is the slight hiss that is going on throughout. So light zim, if you can get the hiss out of the earbuds, these are an A+. Plus. With the hiss, I'm gonna give it a B minus. So that about does it for me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you appreciate the honest review, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be having some more random products arriving from overseas. So I look forward to sharing those with you guys. We'll see you in the next one, over and out. So I says to the guy, says, you know, exactly. Anytime you're at a new place, first thing I do, I told you the story, give the guy a $50 bill, I say, listen, this is how I like my martini, dry with one olive. Next time I go to that place, could be weeks, months, years from now. Bartender, oh, Mr. Nick Butta, here's your martini. It ain't a coincidence, but, you know? It's this Bluetooth thing, uh, light zim, ever been? Well, that's pretty sick. Yeah, as long as you hear me, all right. All right, we'll see you soon.